Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. It's Brando here. If you're new, this is where we bring you a whole lot of unboxings, tutorials, trips and tricks. Today I've got something I think some of you photographers and videographers are really gonna love. This is the Canon CS100 wireless hub and don't get this mistaken for a networked media player. This is directed towards photographers and videographers that already have Canon products like your Canon printers and Canon DSLRs point and shoots video recorders. This enables you to do a whole lot of things that we wish we could as people that love our cameras. It just makes things a bit more simple, but we're gonna go through it. Remember, this is not a new device or a new revolution. This is just something that Canon thought up, which could just ease up our workflow a bit. Another thing here that I want to stress is it is not a media player, though it looks like one. We're gonna go through the unboxing first and have a look at exactly what we get. Flip the lid. We have instruction manuals, we have a figure eight power cable, an external power brick. I must note that manufacturers need to start getting rid of this and thinking of a way to integrate power supplies into the unit. It's not impossible if you've seen an Apple TV or Apple Airport Express, etc. Those are really small devices that have built in power supplies and it's not impossible. In here, we have our CS100 lovely rubber texture at the top our power button here's an sd card and cs inputs and at the back we have power hdmi network and usb a cooling vent on the side cool connect station cs100 i, I wish they could have made this device in this metal finish that's actually at the bottom uh, it has some cooling vents below. It's a very well constructed unit. There's supposed to be a remote control, which I think is hiding in here. There we go. Let's pop this guy out. This is the remote control with Duracell batteries. Let's open up this remote to see what it looks like. There we have the remote control. I must make note of is that it took me five minutes to get this case open and I felt like I was gonna break it. But all you need to do is have a bit of a wide flat screwdriver or something to ridge this up 90 degrees. Don't try and push it in and slip this left or right. You're gonna break this remote. But the remote feels really good as well. I wish some TV remotes, receiver remotes, etc., could actually feel like this. Um, and if you've noticed, they've got the same texture that's on the top of the remote that are also at the top of this player or this media hub. And at the bottom of the remote is the same material and the same texture as the bottom. So I like when companies go the extra mile to get you something that looks different. Let's just have a look at one of the main features of this unit and what I love about it. What this unit does is it allows us to tap any of our Canon cameras. Now get this I say again. It's the Canon cameras that have built-in NFC. Tap it here on the NFC pad and then you've got a range of 15 meters to place the camera and it would wirelessly transfer all of your data from the cameras into the storage hub. You can choose to delete the files of your Canon camera or you can keep it on and it will give you an opportunity to view your footage like a media player on your TV and that is via HDMI in full HD. I really appreciate the fact that they have included a full-size HDMI network port and a USB port. At the front here, we have a SD, if we just pull the slip out, your CF card input, your IR blaster, and a power light at the top here. It is an easy way to store, view, and share your photos and movies in one place. Transfer your latest adventures with just one tap of your NFC camera or easily upload and download images from your smart device via the Connect Station app. Then enjoy them on your HD or Full HD TV and share it with your family or friends online. Connect with Canon. You can print your photos directly from a Canon printer. It has a huge one terabyte hard drive. You can effortlessly download or upload images and movies as well as view and organize them from the Connect Station. There's one nifty little feature that I love um, from the CS100 is that it allows you to transfer or view photos and movies that you have loaded onto this unit while you are based somewhere else in the world. So you just open up the app and kind of like your own private Google Photos, you can open up and share photos or show loved ones without taking space and all of your stuff is viewable online. So all you need to do is get the IP address and you into this wireless hub. I like this device. I would say it again, guys, this is not a media player, but 
this is a photo and video wireless hub that's meant for Canon cameras only. Well, another thing that I've also discovered is that the app that runs from my iPhone does not allow me to transfer every photo onto this hub. When I shoot a photo or a video on the native app on my iOS device, it does not allow me to shoot it up. But if I use the Moment app or um, Filmic Pro, then it seems to work 100%. There's a lot of guys that's hacking this unit at the moment. I hope that or you can hack it into a media player and have it been open source so you can connect whatever you want on it. I will keep you guys posted if there's some change like that. So question of the day is what do you feel about using online media storage? Do you trust Google Photos or some of these free online media storage facilities? Sometimes I question the privacy rights. I myself don't feel 100% sure about it. So this is just an alternative way of securing your private photos and videos. Until I catch you again, let me know anything that you guys would love to see. If you're new here, consider subscribing. I've got links in the description as well. Thank you for joining me again. It was a pleasure doing business with you. Ciao.